know about you, but January has been full steam ahead, and I am choking on fumes. I still have not been able to get a grip on my new schedule, but that's okay. I'm still moving forward. I've been incorporating goals one at a time into my routine, and I'm making progress. Booyah. Everything is figureoutable. But changes take time before they don't feel like they're taking up way too much of your day. And I just have to keep telling myself that a little progress is still progress. First up is Graham's birthday present. Originally, I really wanted to do a more realistic dinosaur for him, but my friend Heather, when I did Blue for her son, she said the first year that they had it, he was a little scared of it. You can check out that video in my list of videos. It is my most popular painting to date, but for this one I decided I better go like more we're back style and do more fun and playful T-Rex. And I just really like the colors of it. Turns out he loves color. And even though I had to hurry through this piece and I wasn't really sure about how it was gonna turn out, I was literally painting this thing up until we left to the for the birthday party. His reaction made me feel so much better. He was so excited about it and that just made my day. So maybe I'll paint a more realistic one later. But for now, he is super ecstatic about his transorts, and I am too. Guys, I was super excited. I got to work on not one, but two paintings last week. This one is the start of a new painting I'm doing called Hyena Lilacs. The funny part is, is the name came from me trying to find an anagram for my name. And that was one that popped up. So I was, it all stemmed from that and I came up with the idea for this painting. So I thought this was a perfect transition between what I have been doing and my upcoming project for this year. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. I got to work on it, like finish the whole underpainting. I don't do a full underpainting, I just did some highlights um, and placements where I want things to go. So I have just a general idea of what it will look like and I cannot wait till I get to finish this thing and show you guys the full time lapse. Now for anyone who is interested in this piece, it has not been claimed yet, so it is still available for purchase. This is actually the first time I've shown anything about it, even the idea. So it's been my like little secret since I haven't started on it yet, but all you have to do is message me if interested and I can give you price point and all the other available options as well as any editing to the original picture. Um, one thing I do like to do for my clients is give them an editing option. Now, one of the ways I am accomplishing my goals for this year is integrating them in intervals. So instead of barreling through the first few weeks of the year, cramming a million things into my already chaotic schedule, and then failing everything and giving up and crying about it, I'm making small changes every few weeks. I didn't set a specific timeline though, like every three weeks add something new, because if my previous change hasn't stuck, then I will still fail somewhere, and the whole idea is to progress. 
This week, I started incorporating workouts. I've always been a cardio bunny, so prepping my body to run after three years of being pregnant cow chart, that's my main focus. I'm starting out with some light yoga, stretching, and very mild body weight exercises. Once my body gets used to moving more in general, I'll start incorporating actual weights and interval running. Then eventually, I'll have built myself back up to where I was pre-COVID. I know this progression seems like really slow, but it's <sighs> completely on purpose. When you first begin working out, your body needs extra recovery time, and with two babies, I just can't afford to need naps, basically. Plus, our grocery bill is going to skyrocket when I start running again. Between formula, diapers, daycare, etc., etc., I again need to work my way into it. Plus, now that I'm a mom of three, Pre-planning is the only way for me to keep track of any of it, and I absolutely love lists. So, I went into Canva and I played around to make this weekly log for my workouts. And I even included these cute little water droplets to track my water through the week. And since they are on my phone, I can check off each day, then erase each morning so that I can track for the next day. But I'm sure, just like with anything else, I will revamp this a couple of times, if not 10 different times throughout the entire year, until I find something that works. But that's kind of the fun part too. I can play around with things and find out what works, what doesn't, and then I can even share it, and then maybe something that doesn't work for me is something perfect for you. Just remember, any changes, big or small, take time, so don't get discouraged.